Ever since photography has existed, uh, we have been capturing the world in 2D. But we see the world in 3D, and it's finally time that we begin to capture the world as we see it. Moving forward, uh, one of the key areas of imaging will be depth sensing. Passive sensors, such as an array of cameras, it has many advantages. The ability to not just capture a picture, but to capture the depth information of the scene. The advantage of that is, first of all, uh, it re consumes less power, and it's sort of like the natural way of seeing things. I think there's no question that depth is the next paradigm shift in imaging, especially in mobile imaging. If you have an array camera design, you certainly have a situation where you can make it much more manageable in size and it'll probably fit into your pocket. If we can make these kind of things available for consumers, then anyone at home would have the ability to actually create their own content in the way they want. It's going to change the way people look at themselves. I mean, if you look at what is the biggest trend today in imaging, it's selfies. Now, I think that's going to be replaced by 3D selfies. Uh, you can basically generate a three-dimensional object of yourself, right? You can basically create a 3D avatar. And some of the applications you can think about are things like shopping. Let's say you want to shop for a couch. Uh, you look at it, you're not quite sure how it's going to fit in your house. Now, if you had a depth camera, you could take a picture of that in depth, in 3D, and then uh, virtually figure out how it's going to fit in your living room before you even buy it. Array cameras, of course, provide you more than just depth because you have so many different cameras. You can actually use some of the cameras to capture information that gives you better spectral resolution uh, as opposed to just the spatial resolution which we have today. What is the next step? What is the thing that could actually make everyone have a personalized experience and more immersive experience. I don't think users really care whether it's an array camera or it's an, any other kind of camera. I think what users want is an excellent user experience. They want to be able to capture the shot they want at all times. They want good image quality in low light and in high light, and they want the convenience of being able to edit the image. Now, the beauty of array camera is that it allows the user to enjoy all of these functionalities. It sits behind the scene and provides a basic framework that enables these things to be implemented. If we can give computers the ability to see, it's actually the next step of giving them the ability to think. And that's amazing.